Now, when you're beginning to learn to code, one of the biggest problems that people have is how can they create an environment? Okay, so basically an environment is where you will run your code, where you will write your code, where you will test your code, debug your code and all of those things that you do with code. Uh, many people have this problem that they don't know where to start. Now, there are multiple uh, applications that you can use to run and to write your code. Okay, these are called as uh, code editors and the second is called as an IDEs. Okay, IDEs stand for an integrated development environment. These are really chunky and large applications which will have a lot of applications, which will have a lot of features for you uh, to use uh, so that you can just create some great uh, programs. And so what the biggest mistake that I see a lot of people making is that they just go and they just install a big uh, IDE, okay? And IDE looks really complex, okay? Like, to be honest with you, I started uh, coding in, in ninth grade, okay? I installed NetBeans. NetBeans is an IDE, which is used for Java. That's what I used it for. And to be honest with you, the, the experience was really complex too for me. I didn't know about anything. I didn't know what a Boolean was, okay? And I was supposed to look at that, com that complex infrastructure of NetBeans IDE and feel as if I'm able to understand everything, which, is completely crazy okay and so i was definitely not able to understand most of the things that i was doing uh, with java and with netbeans at that point in time but when i uh, started again to code in uh, you know in my last year of college the one thing that i did is that i did not install any ide okay so i was not having things like notepad or or you know pycharm or netbeans or or whatever the the big large applications you use to run your code i did not use those instead i used lightweight applications like vs code uh, or sublime text okay so if you don't know uh, code editors are just very lightweight uh, programs that you can use to write your code and to run your code these are really good because they number one are lightweight and number two they are simple to use okay so if you're a beginner this will really help you out a lot because uh, when you go into uh, an ide there will be there will be hundreds of features and it becomes overwhelming very quickly okay you're not able to remember what exactly does every single feature do and so uh, the good part about vs code or sublime text or atom or these you know lightweight uh, code editors is, is that they simplify everything for you so that you don't have to feel that you uh, are learning something very difficult and in this video i want to talk about a few things a few uh, languages that you are learning and then which are the best uh, code uh, editors or ides for you to run them okay so uh, number one, if you are doing Python, you should definitely check out Sublime. Sublime is a pretty good, uh, you know, lightweight code editor that I use. You can also use Atom, okay? And uh, they pretty much work the same. Uh, the only difference is in the in, is in the UI uh, of the both of the programs. But basically, you can just uh, use Sublime or Atom to run your Python code, and, and it would be really simple for you to use. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're going into machine learning, there is a important package for you to install and that is called as an Anaconda distribution. Okay, you can just look it up. I'll put the link in the description so you don't have to worry about that. So for all of you uh, data science and machine learning, uh, you know, enthusiasts out there, you should definitely check out Jupyter Notebook. Uh, basically, Jupyter Notebook has a very, you know, a great approach for people who want to just run their machine learning code uh, or they just want to experiment with data or they just want to run their Python code and see what results they are getting. Okay, so uh, do that. Use Jupyter Notebooks for running your Python code and just for doing data science and machine learning experiments. And then if you want to get into, let's just say, web development, one really good code editor that I myself have used is called as VS Code. Okay, Visual Studio Code. This is provided by Microsoft and it has a really great looking UI number one and it is really easy to use. You can install extensions which will help you out a lot with, you know, just writing code and making sure that everything is managed properly. So that's uh, one thing to keep in mind whenever you're going into web development. You can also use, uh, you know, uh, VS Code for Python, but uh, that's just what I uh, feel. That's just my own uh, my own way of writing code. Now, if you're going into Android development, you can still use VS Code. And uh, if you are going into, let's just say, uh, competitive programming, then I think still uh, VS Code would be a great option for all of you. So yeah, I mean, like my personal choices are just using VS Code and uh, sublime or atom as well if you want to go over there right so just keep uh, this thing in mind whenever you're starting off use code editors and not ides ides are not meant for you 
uh, for a beginner even for me uh, i am like a intermediate developer and it is not uh, meant for me i just don't use it you can also use visual studio this is a this is a better version of visual studio code it has a lot more functionality than visual studio uh, and yeah, I mean, you can run your code in Visual Studio as well and in uh, Sublime as well. All of those come with extensions. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I hope this was helpful to you. I, I will leave the link to all the IDEs in the description so all of you can check out. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what uh, do you think about this? What ID or code editor do you use in the comment section below? Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.